Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register a Boards and Beyond account as part of your institution's subscription to Boards and Beyond. Boards and Beyond is a comprehensive online resource that helps med students build a solid foundation of understanding that goes beyond memorization. Your institution has purchased a subscription to Boards and Beyond for you. With this subscription, you now have access to thousands of videos and quizzes to help you supplement your classes, prepare for board exams, such as the USMLE and Comlex, and succeed in your core clerkships and beyond. There's so much to explore on the site, and our built-in system tutorials will help you discover all that the site has to offer. But before we get into the site itself, we need to get you signed in. If you're watching this video, it's possible you got an email from a program director, professor, or someone at your institution letting you know you now have access to Boards and Beyond. The email, or possibly your course landing page, should include these registration instructions. We need two pieces of information from these instructions to get started. You will need a link that looks like this. It won't be this one exactly, but this is a registration landing page link. And you will need the registration access code. So if you have those two things in front of you, great. If you don't, pause this video and come back when you have them. Before we move ahead to our next step, I just want to point out that if you did receive these instructions, you might have a set of instructions for how to register while on campus. And on page two, a set of instructions for how to register if you're off campus. I'll guide you through the instructions for registering for on campus, making note of when they differ for off campus registrants. So step one, Click the link for your registration landing page. On our registration landing page, we will click Create Account. You will do this even if you already have a Boards and Beyond account. Click Create Account and enter your institutional email address, so your school or university email address. Then click Verify. You'll either get a message saying an email has been sent to this email with a verification link, or you'll get a message saying that this email is already registered to a Boards and Beyond account. If you get this message, what you need to do is sign in to the Boards and Beyond account registered with that email, click on your initials in the upper right hand corner of the page, then click My Profile, click this edit icon, and change the email address from your institutional email address to a different email address of yours, a personal email that you check. Click the check mark to confirm this change. You'll get an email at that personal email, that new email address, to confirm the change. Check that email, click through the link to confirm the change, and then you're all set. So from there, you can return to the registration landing page associated with your institution, enter your institutional email address, and click verify. You'll receive an email at your institutional email address, and you can continue with the registration process. If we go to our email, we'll see that verification, and we'll also see a link to click on to continue with our registration process. And that takes us to a page where we enter our personal information. You'll see I entered my information, but there are a few quick things I want to note. One, you'll need to choose a unique username Two, you will only be able to continue with your registration if your password is at strong level. So if you're only at good or you're at weak, make sure you're choosing a strong password so that you can continue with registration. Finally, the last bit of information we need is that registration access code. This can also be found in the instructions you received from your program or professor. And I'm gonna put that in right here. And you'll see now that I can click sign up. Finally, you'll be prompted to sign in to your new account. Note that it's going to ask for your username and not your full email. And if you forgot what username you put when you were registering a minute ago, totally fine because you will have just received an email from us with that username. We're going to click sign in. And from there, we are now in our brand new Boards and Beyond account. When you're signing in for the first time, It'll walk you through some system tutorials 
And that's my recommended next step for you. Another next step is to see if you have any notifications. Notifications include group invites. So if your instructor has created a group and invited you to it, you'll get a notification that you can click into and then choose to accept to join that group. You'll also be notified in the notifications tab of whether you have any new assignments. If you have any questions, please reach out to whoever is listed in the email you received as your account administrator or contact us at bbcustomerservice at mheducation.com. Thank you.